Hey YouTube, <clears throat> little update on what's going on. Um, I've got a lot more logs here than I had before. A friend of mine um, was uh, cutting up firewood and he told me that I should take the stuff that's big enough for um, to make lumber out of. So I brought some of these logs over. Most of them are red oak. Um, I found two here that are black birch. And that back one right there is a cherry. So I'm going to cut some of that up. I'm not sure what to do with the birch, but I'll tell you, it has a very aromatic smell to it when you're cutting it. Uh, I read an article that said that they use black birch to make birch beer. Um, you ferment it with, I think, corn, I believe they said. You ferment it with corn. Now, I'm not sure how you do that, and I don't know if I'm going to go doing that with this log, but... Birch makes nice uh, veneer. I'll have to see what ha happens here. Now, I got a pile here from what happened was we picked out of the log pile some of the uh, rougher logs and ended up with um, cutting a bunch of stickers. This is uh, the end result. I didn't realize how much uh, scrap I would have left over. I got to find somebody who's wanting to take this scrap from me because it's just too much for me to handle. Uh, let's see here. I'm going to just open up this for a minute and show you the stickers that we cut. Yeah, so we got enough stickers there to sticker both sets of pot, both piles of lumber. Those 4x4s that you see there were cut from the red oak that's here. And you can see they have like a white uh, color to them. So they're pretty much drying out nice in here. Uh, I don't know if you can... Just bear with me, I'm holding this thing up. You can see the temperature in there and the humidity is low. So that's good for drying. What is that, 110? And the humidity is about... Uh, I don't know, 20? percent relative humidity so this is drying up pretty nice they were really red soaking wet when I took them out the other day or, I mean after we cut them not took them out but when we cut them out of the tree let me lay this down, back down yeah so you can see there's a lot of stickers in there I think there's 200 of them and the 4 by 4s Naturally, 4x4's red oak are something you don't come across every day. And it takes a lot out of a 12-inch tree. Most of these are between 12 and 20 inches. So it takes a lot out of a 12-inch tree to get 4x4's um, out of it. But I'm saving the best stuff that I have in another spot on my property to cut into the wood that I want to stack in that greenhouse. I have, or, uh, yeah, greenhouse, I mean kiln. The kiln's all finished now. You can see I put the, no, I shouldn't say I, my grandson and I, we put the battens on that and everything else is finished. So, and we painted it green. I know I said I was gonna paint it gray, but for some reason my wife thought green would be better and I kind of like it. I like the way it looks. It's a stain from Olympic, I believe. So we did that and as soon as I get caught up with a little bit more work, I have some more work for my grandson yet to do. Um, I, my wife was in an accident with her car and I have to fix the fender and the bumper on it. So I'm almost done with that, I just need to spray it. They, they went off to church this afternoon and so that's okay there, but I need to spray paint that probably tomorrow and then I have a faucet in the house I need to fix, an outside faucet, and I got to get into the wall, so it's going to take me a little to do that yet with my grandson, and then I'll be cutting every day. We got some logs. I use this carriage. Those of you who might have been looking at my channel before, if you remember, this carriage I used to hold the cab of my truck when I put a new frame underneath it. And my grandson had this idea, and he's only 16, and he's pretty smart to put some more braces in there right here so he could cut 16 inch or 20 inch pieces of firewood. And then we were thinking why not just make this so that we could unload the log 
onto the bed. This way I could bring two logs over at a time instead of just bringing one log each time I want to cut. But, uh, that's red oak you're looking at there. You don't find too many pieces of one by two red oak that's that long. That's 17 feet. Something like that would cost you an arm and a leg at the store. But uh, anyway, that's where I'm at so far. The sawmill's been working fine. Uh, and right in the back here, the other day I sat down and I designed on AutoCAD a nice little shed. I'm going to put a post right at this spot that would be in front of the uh, uh, the uh, sawmill. Can't remember what the heck I'm talking about here. And then I'm going to come back here about 10 feet or so to about here and put another post and then on the opposite sides. And I'm going to put a little A-frame roof over this thing just so that I can put my tools on this back wall here. I, I don't like them laying on the ground. They're getting wet and all. I, I want a place to hang them. So I'm going to make like a little sort of like a back over and back again big enough to cover the whole sawmill but not infringe on bringing logs onto the carriage. The, the height of the carriage and stuff is perfect. We've been, it's, it's not back breaking. Uh, until you get a sawmill and cut lumber, yes, you do spend the, uh, a lot of calories and stuff cutting wood. It's not an easy job for a manual mill. However, if you just take the time with it, it's pretty enjoyable. So I've been enjoying this. Uh, you know, when you see the wood come, when you see the lumber come to life out of the log, it's so rewarding to see that. So, anyway, that's my next plan is to put this little shed around this thing so that I can um, have my tools hanging where they're not going to get, you know, the tools I need close, where they're not going to get uh, dirty or rusted up. Oh boy, yeah, this is all oak here. This would make fantastic kindling. And I got some more, these are three foot. Now the, the stickers I had, there was a couple logs that weren't cut to length, the right length for lumber. Now these are all, actually they're very nice looking oak, red oak, but they're one by twos. And even so, one by twos, three foot long, I, I think they're six dollars down at Lowe's. So anyway, that's where I'm at at the moment. And uh, I've got a pile of sawdust in here. I don't know if you can see it down there, but I want to get this water out of here. Just bear with me a second. I was just getting water off the plastic. I gotta come up with a better way to handle this because I, I want to try and make fire starter logs with diesel fuel mixed into the sawdust. I think that might work pretty good. I'm gonna have to check it out and see. I just want to get rid of this water. make a little press to press the sawdust together and maybe I can make some fire starter logs. That's a, a good thing when you're retired. You can take the time to do things you don't have time to do when you're working. Although I've been so busy I feel like I'm back to work. <laughs> yeah, the kiln came out good and I've been watching the humidity and stuff on it the other day it was overcast all day and it, the temperature outside was about 80 or maybe 75 and this thing went up to 90 degrees in there and stayed there all day. So uh, I think that where we're at in relation to latitude is a perfect spot to be able to dry lumber without it getting rotted or anything or moldy. I have it figured out that when that kiln is filled with the lumber that I want to get in it. There'll be somewhere in the neighborhood of $13,000 worth of finished red oak in there. Um, they're going to be 8 foot lengths and that's exactly what I'm looking to have. So I'll be adding to my assets. A lot of people look at that differently but 
I was a business person for a lot of years and that's how I look at it and I know what to do with it so anyway I just thought I'd let you get an idea of what's happening here I, so I gotta get this cleaned up because I can't stand the mess so I gotta give this to somebody see if I can find some I, I have a big stack of firewood there for those of you who are just tuning in and I have a a heck of a big pile of uh, kindling in my garage. Uh, my wife and my grandson both said to me that we should build a, a a fire pit for little bonfire type things so that we can, my grandson said something I never do which is relax. So I designed a little patio uh, that I'll use the sawmill to cut the boards for the deck and then I'm going to take some stones that for, are around the property and make a nice stone fire pit. Maybe we can just burn some of it ourselves. Because I don't want this laying around come winter. And by that time I'm hoping to have all the logs cut up and stickered laid in place and things should be good. Beautiful day in Pennsylvania. A little bit cloudy but Temperature is not too bad. I think it's around 70 or a little less than 70. Kind of loving this. Okay, guys, have a good one. Thanks for watching.